I've just taken the bus from Garden College to Pembroke Street and I'm walking to my department now. I am a bit early, but I've had a few close encounters regarding travel in the past summer where I've missed trains and buses and things. So I'd rather honestly just be early than late. I'm so excited to see everyone again soon. We're doing a little food shop. The department has given us 30 pounds in total per person because we need to have our own food for the first three days. This is us choosing our food. This is our room for the next three nights. There's my dear Rumi. <laughs> Your camouflaging. So <laughs> it's so cute. I know that's what she was saying. <laughs> Good morning, Shropshire. The little dog has a high vis jacket. I couldn't get over the fact that we got to walk out into this beautiful view every morning. Hi horses! <laughs> oh, I finally see the group. my fitness ability. I feel like to continue earth sciences, having a good fitness level should really be a prerequisite. But man, are these locations hard to access. Whew. <laughs> we have to do a 360 degree sketch of this going to be going inside limestone and there's no better place to study the rocks in the earth's crust than to get them cycled. You know we've talked about how complicated geology has been, how we have to infer things and be a bit of a geological mind reel in a way. Actually, really, when it comes down to it, when you're a caver, Geology is dead easy. <laughs> because really, there's only two sorts of rock. There's limestone and other stuff. <laughs> now limestone is a bit different from most of the rocks in the earth's crust. It's got two properties that favour care formation. First of all, it's permeable to rainwater. The other part of the story is that because limestone is essentially calcium carbonate, and because rainwater is normally weak acid, as the water travels the rocks, you get a simple chemical reaction, passing the carbonate, and it hollows out the limestone from its side. The Victorians called it the abyss. <laughs> This is our second accommodation. Okay, first look of our <gasps> toilets. Oh, it's so neat. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> no, Anna, Iris is doing a tour of the kitchen. Oh my god, we're 
Sorry, Wait, what is this? Like, like, <gasps> like counter space? Yeah, I think so. This is so fancy. Yeah, that's sick. I don't know how it works. <laughs> but I will figure it out and then we can use it. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> Literally everything you could ever want. Oh, <laughs> like so much stuff. There's literally a washing machine. Literally There's everything. everything. Oh, it's so sparkly. And the address is specifically for me, guys. Even Mr. though this is, this is literally my dad's name, but sure. <laughs> Mr. Shukmar. Oh Mr. my god, look Shukmar, at all these vegan guys, goods. They bought you wasabi peas. <laughs> what? Wasabi peas? That sounds nice, you know. That's like spicy food. I like wasabi peas. You like I do, but I'm a fan of big fan of wasabi peas. Yeah, you know, it's fine. I'll eat them. A Wi-Fi password. Like, what is this? Is this like a Wi-Fi password? TV. Oh, look at those huge, huge Giovanni, pillows. <laughs> Why am I the one doing it? Wait, what is that though? Oh my gosh, you're like, like Harry Potter. Potter. Like, like, look at the, the stairs. Stair. And I was excited. Well, Second, you guys are doing me, I'm retreating to the Iris, that's really your loss. <laughs> the whole of today i had kind of a bad headache and kind of scratchy throat and it's just been really dry and a bit of runny nose i did take a couple of lateral tests and they were negative so i'm pretty sure it's not covid but i do feel like i've got the cold and i'm feeling a bit under the weather the whole of today so i've come back to my room quite early tonight after dinner everyone else was in the common room but i just really wanted to get into bed and sleep it off because i want to be okay for the rest of the trip and we still have like 10 days left and tomorrow is going to be a long day so i just really wanted to sleep it off and feel better and like my head was hurting so much i literally there was just too much noise around me to handle so um thankfully a friend came with me back to my room and we just chilled out for a bit and i took a really steaming hot shower which felt so so nice i do feel much more decongested now i just rubbed like a big paper rub all over my nose head and throat just gonna put on some socks and sleep. I did take a paracetamol, so hopefully tomorrow morning I should feel better. Fingers crossed. So yeah, I'm quite glad I took this evening off and just came back early to rest in bed because I feel like I really need it tonight. <laughs> I just took my first ever successful strike and dip measurement. Woohoo! Yes! How are you doing, Boo? What after the morning is done with you? So we have finished looking at stuff at our first locality, Earth Science, and lo and behold, Shavani has a really muddy butt <laughs> because she decided to skate down all of this mud because it's actually quite practical if you're okay with having a muddy butt, which she is. So it's all good. I can actually still see my butt mark there. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> so, what have we just walked across here? Oh, it's a really precise stuff. <sighs> we just did a sedimentary log and we're so cold. Hungry. <laughs> 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 Still need to go all the way back up there for our bags. It's a long, long way. <sighs> it's been with tells you, my friend, and I tell you all about it when I see you again. Come a long way. Where we begin <laughs> I'll tell you all about it When I see you again When I see you again Wow <laughs> it, is, it does sort of fit Like looking out over the giant hills <laughs>
It's from Kung Fu Panda. It's where the Uruguay is turning into blossoms. We're finally almost done for the day. We're walking back to the bus now. I definitely do feel much better. I think it's just the pace of the first walk was too much for me to handle. Especially since I'm actually a bit sick. But overall it was quite a good day. And I felt like I understood most of the things, which is always such a great bonus. <laughs> Makes me feel much better about the whole thing. On the bright side, our way back to the bus is mostly downhill. So it's less of climbing. So Yay. On the way up, I was pretty sure I was going to give up, so I went up to the demonstrator and said that I really don't think I can continue because my headache was making me feel really dizzy and my ears are really blocked, so it's really hard to walk in a straight line. And these are kind of challenging terrains. But then she kind of supported me and then she said, you know, you can do this, just um, take it easy and like, worst case, we can always take you back. But it ended up being fine. So she was really encouraging. And she gave me a tip to breathe through my nose consciously, even though it's really harsh. It was like the more you breathe through your nose, the less runny it is, especially while you're trekking and climbing like higher altitudes, which actually really helped. And then we had a really long stop um, where we observed some rocks and I feel like I really needed a break. So after that, I was feeling much better. We're going to go back and then see if we can visit the pharmacy so I can get some medicines. And I really hope by tomorrow morning I'm feeling much better because the next two to three days we're kind of just on our own like mapping pairs and it's going to be way more isolated and way more i think challenging and i want to get better so we can cover more area and do our tasks properly now we're kind of going downhill down the same hill that we climbed uphill in the morning and even though uphill is sometimes so challenging the best thing is to look forward to the time when we go downhill even if that's like five hours later we are now coming to a standstill because our route is blocked by cars. Kind of you can find this. Hopping over the fence now. And then first place. and Anna. Oh! <laughs> this is a shake hole. It's basically where there is limestone below ground and it sort of absorbs the rainwater because limestone is porous material and yeah it just looks like there's an abyss into the ground where water flows through. So the entire morning we spent being led by a demonstrator in our little group and then we were left wild. Oh, I'll take my hat off. <laughs> now we're having lunch in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> we're on a path actually, we found a path. Oh yeah, this is the path. Sorry. <laughs> so hard to make out that it's a path. Mm -hmm. Anyway, yeah we are on a track but we have quite a lot of air to cover today and I think we're pretty quite skilled I'd say. <laughs> but yeah, it's a beautiful view. And I was trying to find a dry path. I know. Oh god, that was so scary. That looks so deceiving. It's knee deep bog. Yeah, and we came from the other way, so we didn't see. Yeah, we came from like there. Shavani, would you like to talk about your experience in the bog? Oh, traumatic, but I'm so glad you were by my side to pull me out. Oh. Even though my bum felt like it was slipping in. <laughs> Socks, Always bring feet. spare socks, guys. <laughs> Always. <laughs> Sana, have we recovered from that experience? So do we want to recount what just happened? <laughs> so basically, <laughs> we were walking and we started sinking. <laughs> so I thought it was a great idea. Well, if it's sinking, we should just run as fast as we can. So she ran. I, I, I so ran inside the box. <laughs> Inside, and then I was like, Oh my god, Shamani, where are you? <laughs> it's just off her feet. Literally, my entire foot was like twisted. Oh my god, I feel like we're walking in another bog. Oh no! Oh no! Because... No, we're not. This is like stable. Okay. Okay. Yellow bogginess. Okay. 
anyway so my foot kind of turned in there and I was just kind of stuck and then Anna was trying to like lift my foot out of the bog um, and then she got my other shoe and then she threw my shoe away so she could like use both her hands and then I got put my feet out but then I was just sitting on the bog and like every tiny moment I made I would just kind of <laughs> fall deep into the side yeah <laughs> Somebody do it. And I was like, Anna, I can't because my butt is like sinking in the bog. <laughs> and it was really dramatic because I was like, Anna, run. Because like I thought if Anna was going to pull me out, like she would sink in as well. Five so I was like, eight. but Anna really stayed. Oh, God. Yeah, finally I managed to kind of crawl, sort of, and Anna pulled me sort of out. But yeah, my entire sh like, shoe and foot and socks were just like clenched. Oh. And Charlotte, in the middle of all this, <laughs> took a photo of us <laughs> in this life-threatening yeah, situation. It's such a funny photo. It's like, going to Shavani, trying to pull her out. Shavani's just like, oh, on the floor, but on the bog. <laughs> what happened? Oh, no, I entered another bloody bog. And I got my right shoe wet again. And I was trying to navigate through a dry bit. We just need to get to that path. Is it dry? Oh god, it really stinks. I know. Ah! Oh. <laughs> I feel like this is a personal attack. I think I need to go.